in the name of Allah, the All-Beneficent, the All-Merciful. Those who examine There is an important statement, in the Holy Quran, Surat Al-Hijra 15, 75. Those who examine The question is that, what does it denote? In brief, the twelve infallible Imams, Alaihimas Salam, are those who examine. They can glance at a person, and come to know whether, he is a believer, or a hypocrite. The Almighty Allah says, Surely, in this, are signs for those who examine. The above mentioned verse is read, after the story of Lut, alayhi salam. The commentators have said, it means, we have mentioned about the destruction of the people of Lut, in which, there are signs for those who think and ponder and those who derive lesson from it. Some of them said that, those who examine, are those who recognize things through signs and marks and understand the things through intelligence and insight. There is a tradition from the Holy Prophet, Salal Aho Alehi Va Alehi Vasalam, that, beware of the sagacity of a believer, because he sees with the light of Allah. It is also narrated from the Holy Prophet that, he said, there are some servants of Allah, who know people through their knowledge and insight, then the Hazrat recited this verse. And surely, it is on a road that still abides. Surah Hijra 15 76. It means that, the town of the people of Lut which is between Medina and Syria is on your straight path. The Blessed Kolani in Kafi, Basairad Darajat, Manakib, and the Tafsir of Ayashi, and Ali ibn Ibrahim, and all other books, quote many traditions, from the infallible Imams, Alaihimas Salam, that, we are, those who examine, and the way of paradise, until Qiyamat, we are the road that still abides, and is firm. In Oidu Nal Akbar Riza, it is narrated that people asked the Imam that, what is the source through which, you make people aware about the things that, are in their hearts. He said, maybe you have not heard that, the Holy Prophet, Sal Lal Aho Alehi Va Alehi Va Salam, said, be afraid of the sagacity of the believer, as he sees through the light of Allah. The narrator said, yes so has wrought, I have heard it. He said, there is no believer, but that there is a sagacity in him, and through whatever amount of light of faith and intelligence that he possess, he sees by the light of Allah. And the Almighty Allah has gathered all the sagacity in us, that is distributed to all the believers in small measure, and has said in the Holy Quran, Surely, in this are signs for those who examine. 15, 75 So, the first of those who examine, was the Holy Prophet, Sal Lal Aho Alehi Va Alehi Va Salam. After him was Amir ul Mamanin, then Imam Hassan, and Imam Hussain. And after him, the nine purified infallible Imams, Alaihimas Salam, from his descendants, till the Day of Judgment. In Basairad Darajat, an Iqtasas, Abdur Rahman ibn Qasir has narrated, that, I went for Hajj, with Imam Sa'adik, Alaihis Salam. On the way, the Hazrat went on a mountain, and looked towards the people, and said, So many people are reciting the Talbiyah. But of them, there are very few whose Hajj is accepted. Abi Sulaiman said, O son of the Messenger of Allah! Would the prayers of all the people that we see, be accepted by Allah? Hazrat replied, Allah will not forgive the sins of those who have committed polytheism. And the one who denies the Vilaya and Imama of Amir ul Mamanin Ali, alayhi salam, is like an idol worshipper. The narrator said, May I be sacrificed on you. Do you recognize your friend and your enemy? Hazrat replied, Woe upon you, when a child is born, it is written between his two eyes. And whoever comes to us, with our vilaya, we see on his forehead where, believer is written, and when a person comes to us with our enmity, disbeliever is written on his forehead, which we can read. We are, those who examine, and Allah has said in our praise, Surely, in this, are signs for those who examine. And we recognize our friends, and foes, by this very sagacity.
Also in Basatira Darajat and other books, it is narrated that, a person came to Imam Sadiq, alayhi salam, and posed a question. The Hazrat gave him the answer. Then another person came, and asked the same question, and the Hazrat gave a different answer. Then, a third person came, and the Imam gave him a reply different from the first and the second one, then said, The Almighty Allah has left the affairs of the creatures upon us, and we give them the reply according to their capability and understanding, in the same way, Allah had given the Prophet Sulaiman the authority over the world, and had said, This is our free gift, therefore give freely or withhold, without reckoning. The Holy Quran 38, 39 The verse is in this way in the recitation of Amir ul Mamanin Ali, alayhi salam. The narrator asked that, whether Imam knows about the religion and capability of each person, due to which he gives the suitable answer. The Imam asked in surprised, Glory be to Allah. Maybe you have not read the book of Allah, that says. And surely, it is on a road that still abides. Surah Tal Hijra 15, 76. It means that, these signs are on the path that abides, and they remain established that, no one could go out of their circle, that is they are with Imama, and Imama can never go out of the circle of Ahlal Bayt. Then, he said, when the Imam sees anyone, he recognizes him. He knows his color and type, if he listens to his voice from behind the wall, then, also he recognizes him, and comes to know who and what it is. He knows his qualities, because Almighty Allah says. And one of his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the diversity of your tongues and colors, most surely there are signs in this for the learned men. 30, 22. The Imam said, the divinely ordained Imams are the learned men, whom Allah has mentioned in this verse, and the Imam knows the language of all the tribes and communities, and also knows whether the person who is speaking would get salvation, or go to hell. That is why, he gives a reply according to the capability and condition of that person. Also, in Basatira Darajat, there is a tradition from Imam Rizat, alayhi salam, that, he said, we have eyes which are not like those of the common people. There is a light in our eyes, in which there is no partnership of the Satan. The Blessed Ayashi has narrated, from Imam Sadiq, alayhi salam, in the explanation of this verse that, he said, surely, in the Imam, there are certain conditions, for those who examine. The Imam is firm on the right path, and sees through that nor or light, which Allah has bestowed to his eyes, and he speaks from Allah, and things are not concealed from him, for whatever he intends. In Basatira Darajat, Iqtasas and other books, there is a tradition, from Imam Bagir, alayhi salam, that, one day, Amir ul Mamanin, alayhi salam, was present in the mosque of Kufa, when suddenly a woman arrived, who had had a fight with her husband. The Hazrat judged in favor of the husband. The woman, may curse of Allah be upon her, said, By Allah. It is not like a right judgment, that you have given. You have to be equitable, and must not do injustice in your kingdom. Your judgment was not liked by Allah. Amir ul Mamanin Ali, alayhi salam, becomes angry and glared at her once and said, O oh audacious woman! O oh the abusing one! O oh one that utters nonsense! O oh, one that does not menstruate like other women. When that cursed woman heard these words, she turned and ran away saying, Woe upon me, woe upon me. The son of Abu Talib revealed the things that were concealed and insulted me. Seeing this Amr ibn Horais, a leader of the Kavaraj, who was present there, ran after her, and said, In the beginning, I was pleased, when you spoke to the son of Abu Talib, in that manner. But when he told you something, you started making a hue and cry. The woman said, By Allah, he said those things about me, that no one knew. I always menstruate from behind. After listening to this, the cursed man came to Amir ul Mamanin, alayhi salam, and said, O son of Abu Talib, what was this fortune telling that you did to the woman? 
Hazrat replied, O son of Horais, it was not fortune-telling, that some jinn has informed me. Indeed, two thousand years before creating this world, the creator of the spirits, before he placed the spirits in the bodies, he wrote between their two eyes, whether it is a believer, or a disbeliever, and has also written, all that which would afflict him, and all their good and bad things, also their record of deeds has been written, whether that person is a believer, or a disbeliever, and all those things that will afflict him. Then, he also revealed upon his messenger the following verse. Surely, in this are signs for those who examine. 15, 75 The Holy Prophet, Sal Lal Aho Alehi Vaalahi Vasalam, was of those who examine, and after him, I am of those who examine. That is why, when I looked at the forehead of that woman, her all conditions were revealed to me.